Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net of ESGN Net WWE 13 pay-per-view predictions for Night of Champions. And this one is for the WWE uh, championship between the champion Randy Orton and the challenger or former WWE champion Daniel Bryan. Now these two um, have met in the ring before, uh, but not for a big match like this, not for a title. Uh, as you guys remember from uh, SummerSlam just a month ago, it's kind of weird, it uh, feels like it's been a little longer since we've seen the last uh, pay-per-view, uh, but uh, Daniel Bryan won the match against uh, John Cena and proved that he is, uh, you know, main work main event worthy which he is because he was he's a former world heavyweight champion um, and uh, you know he's won the money in the bank uh, so many other matches uh, since his career well now all of a sudden now Randy Orton decides to cash in which he kind of he kind of you know made reference to uh, a couple weeks prior uh, that he was gonna eventually cash in on one of them didn't matter who it was gonna be but of course we now know that uh, Randy and Triple H are in cahoots with one another because, uh, well, Triple H, Hunter, uh, believes in it's good for business. Uh, <laughs> and I put air quotes up uh, when I'm doing this. So, um, yeah, uh, the storyline goes, uh, Dan Bryan's basically not good enough to be the face of the WWE. Uh, hints that uh, this is basically coming from uh, the from the horse's mouth being Mr. McMahon. Um, you know, Mr. McMahon has been was uh, weeks before uh, the SummerSlam pay-per-view uh, been putting Brian in matches uh, against his former tag team partner Kane um, and the Shield. Uh, so now Brian now has to prove himself now too. Um, Triple H, who is the you know COO or Chief Operation Officer, uh, who runs the day-to-day -day, um, things that go on when they're on uh, these uh, tours and these live events like that, has to prove to Triple H that he's uh, good for business. Uh, and of course, uh, which I, personally, I mean, WWE tries to make you guys uh, make well us forget about what happened in the past. Um, but when you do storylines like this, you kind of need to connect things back to the past. Um, and I'm, I'm a big fan of, you know, putting like a six, like a six degrees of something. Um, but I mean, the storyline's great, great and everything, but, uh, Dan Bryan's already beaten Randy Orton before. And I don't know if anyone, I don't know if WWE decides like, well, we're not going to mention that because that was beforehand. Or if it's, or if, you know, I, you know, I expect like maybe a, one of the announcers, like Michael Cole or Jerry King, would would bring that up, um, or even Daniel Bryan himself bring it up. Uh, but they haven't, and you know I would right now honestly I would like to see. Okay, here's my thing. Tonight I would love to see Daniel Bryan get back the the WWE title, but get help from. From from the from the backstage, from the people in the backstage, and the one person, the one person I would like to see help uh, Daniel Bryan getting this title back, and I would, and it's kind of making me upset because they have not put him in any kind of big time uh, story matches except for the time when he was um, going against Randy, and when Randy had the faction of uh, Legacy, and that's Kofi Kingston. I thought that was going to be, I thought that was going to be a launch pad for uh, Kofi Kingston uh, to get him into more of the main event status, uh, being a main eventer, um, because he has a talent. He has a talent. He has a good fan. Uh, I mean, he'd be a, a great, marketable. Um, and this is coming for the business end, for for the fans. Um, you know, he's a big fan favorite. Everyone loves him. He has charisma. He has style. Um, he's great on the mic. And that time, where I just recently just seen it on YouTube where he destroyed Randy's car, his uh, NASCAR that he got uh, when he was champion. I really thought, I'm like, wow, this is going to be, this is going to be, this is 
his time. So I would love to see them, uh, and of course they won't do it. I wish they would do more back uh, flashbacks and stuff like that to bring, you know, to connect things that will happen in the past, that have to connect now. Uh, you know, they did it with with uh, uh, CM Punk uh, when he became the new Nexus, when he started the new Nexus, where uh, he was going after Randy because Randy punted him and uh, Legacy, pun uh, him and Legacy. Uh, at the time, it was. Uh, Cody Rhodes and um, Haku, I believe it was, uh, punted him, and he had to forfeit his his title, and so we was gonna have it that night. At, uh, I can't remember which which it was uh, Unforgiven. Uh, he we had to have a new world heavyweight ta champion. Um, and so I mean they connected that, and that was like a year. I think it was like a year and a half later when they finally connected it, where uh, that. Uh, that CM Punk was uh, behind the scenes was just building this whole was doing connecting all this stuff you know to Randy and have his epic you know ending to the story that happened uh, between him and, 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 and for the world title he had for his title and everything. I hope they do that tonight. Uh, I'm hoping that they'll uh, that someone will come out there. A lot of people are saying that the Big Show is going to come out and help. Um, also too. There's a big, 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 big rumor going on um, that uh, one person may end up helping uh, Randy help get his title back, and that person may be Matt Morgan, uh, former TNA star, uh, who has uh, been in talks with the WWE, uh, rumor has it, uh, for a uh, comeback in the WWE, and maybe possibly as an enforcer. For um, uh, for uh, Randy Orton and, uh, and and Triple H, uh, of course, you know Triple H is using the, the Shield as his uh, you know his personal protection and bodyguards and whatnot, which I, I love. Um, but Matt Morgan, I think that'd be I think that'd be great, it'd be awesome, good way to bring him in time in the story. Him, uh, Matt Morgan, and the Big Show have a history because if you guys remember. Uh, when Heyman was taking over SmackDown, he had this, uh, he had a bunch of, ha he's a Heyman guy, so that'd be a good way to, I guess, tie in Heyman uh, and Matt Morgan together and tie in uh, Matt Morgan and and, uh, and Big Show together and also tie in CM Punk. I mean, have this story, this story that connects a lot of people uh, with some history and whatnot. I know you see Randy Orton, uh, still the WWE champion, we'll see if he'll hold on to that title. Uh, this Sunday, but I think, uh, but it's just a big rumor. Don't, don't, you know, don't hold me to it. Um, I believe Matt Morgan still has a couple. I think he still has about a month or two uh, before he can sign with another company because uh, he's still kind of signed with TNA, even though they released him and whatnot. So uh, let me guys, let me know what you guys think. Uh, what's going to happen this Sunday? Will Randy hold on to this title? Will Daniel Bryan show up, or will we have a big surprise? You guys, let me know. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter. And all those social media sites. See you guys next time.